Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're talking about Titanic, the 25th anniversary re-release thing that's happening this weekend. We're talking about it. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons, so let's get to it. Pros. So, Titanic, the original. Came out in 1997, directed by James Cameron, starred Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet. Obviously, it was based off a true story, the true disaster with the Titanic. Uh, the movie, when it was coming out, had quite a bit going against it. Uh, it had a hellish production, and it, at the time, it was the most expensive movie ever made. It was like $200 million, which is the usual budget for a superhero movie nowadays but back then 200 million was gargantuan <laughs> that was unheard of so a lot of people were convinced that this movie was gonna bomb and it was gonna bomb hard uh but it didn't no no this movie had one of the most ridiculous box office runs ever a run that will probably never be matched ever again because it opened with like 28 million, right? For December, that's not too bad. You think, oh, probably in it around like 100, 200 million because of de December legs. No. No. This was a movie that just kept, it just kept going and going and going and going. It was number one for 15 fucking weeks. <laughs> Four months, man. Like people, like people look at Avatar and they're just like, "Wow, seven weeks! That's crazy." This was well on twice as long as that. <laughs> that is mind-boggling, absolutely mind-boggling, and it ended up becoming the highest-grossing movie of all time. It made its original run. I think I have to mention. I believe it was like six hundred something million. Its original run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six hundred million its original run domestically. And its worldwide total was like one point eight billion. The biggest movie of all time. A title it would hold until Avatar came out, the next James Cameron movie. And um you think that would be it, but no. In twenty twelve, Paramount or Fox, both of them really, um, Decided to give this the old 3D re-release because back then, like 3D was like it was a fad. It was well, it's a fad that comes and goes throughout like the decades and like the early 2010s or like the very late 2000s, the early 2010s. It was a fad again, and a lot of studios decided to take advantage of that and re-release old movies in 3D to make money. Disney did it by re-releasing The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Finding Nemo, and Monsters, Inc. Universal did it with Jurassic Park and Paramount and Fox, because technically both were involved with this movie. Um, they decided to do it with Titanic. And the Titanic re-release did pretty all right, I would say. It opened with like 17 million. It had like a... Gosh, I have to... So, ugh, scrolling through these is a nightmare. But, yeah, it basically had a five-day opening of, I believe, 26 million? Yeah, 26 million. Which I say is pretty, pretty all right, all things considered. And its final total, I believe, was like 59 million. Yeah, 59 million. And not to mention added like a couple hundred million more thanks to the international re-release. So now it's like a t over two billion. It pushed it past two billion. Like it was a two point one billion. So yeah, Titanic, huge hit. Not mentioned it was it was well received. Audiences loved it to death, as you can probably tell because it was number one for fifteen goddamn weeks, and um, it won a bunch of Oscars. Uh, last I checked. I believe it, I think it was nominated for like, I don't know how many, I, it was, was it 14? I may be wrong, was it 14? 
Titanic. Blah, 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 blah. 14. It was nominated for 14 and won 11. So it tied uh, Ben Hur for the most Oscars won by a single film. So, yeah, Titanic, its whole legacy. I say it's pretty solid. <laughs> so, yeah, that's definitely a pro. Just Titanic in general. <laughs> the whole the whole thing, like everything is surrounding it. Big pro. So re-releasing it again. Yeah. Makes sense. You want to add more to its total. Another pro is that the timing of this re-release is pretty good because this movie is, although like the Titanic, like obviously, you know, the big thing with this movie is like Titanic, the disaster and all that. But with this movie, like you, well, you would think the Titanic would be the big thing, but the real big thing was the romance between Jack and Rose. That's what pushed titanic over the top in my opinion i think that's what made it a huge the the hit that it was hell like when it like valentine's day of 1998 like that thing exploded over the weekend look at that jump (laughs) went from 23 million to 32 million was the last time you've seen that and let me see these numbers just look at that that's just crazy (laughs) Like, it's... Like, Titanic was just the movie that would refuse to die for the longest time. And so... Yeah, that romance definitely pushed it over the top. And... uh, Yeah. So, releasing this, like, so... Like, right near Valentine's Day. Good call. Very good call. Very smart call. So, yeah. The release date is definitely a pro. And I imagine it's going to get a boost come you know tuesday when valentine's day hits so yeah that's a pro um when it comes to competition all this really has is magic mike's last dance besides that it's pretty some some slim pickings out there (laughs) i mean there's another james cameron movie out there avatar the way of water but that's been out for like almost two months now so it's only a matter of time before that bites the dust but it's still there still there it can still make an impact but yeah besides really besides magic mike and avatar there's not much out there so yeah that's a pro lack of real competition or at least detrimental competition um i think that's it well i guess i can mention obviously this is not the first time a james cameron movie has been re-released i mean Let's look at Avatar, for instance, which was the movie that came out after this and beat its record and everything. Avatar, which was James Cameron's next movie. Almost same situation where people were like, is this going to be a hit? And then it made, like, it it decimated Titanic's record. So, yeah. Yeah, then, so, yeah, then both of these movies and The Way of Water, all of these movies prove that you never, ever, ever, ever bet against James Cameron. You just don't. Because <laughs> if you do, you're going to take a fat L. <laughs> so, yeah, Avatar. That got re-released last year as a way to promote <laughs> um, uh, the sequel. And I thought it would do terrible, or at least I thought it would do blank. But it opened with double digits, like $10 million, which is pretty impressive for a movie that doesn't even have like that great of a reputation. I mean, most people just saw Avatar as nothing but special effects and the story and characters were just bleh. At least Titanic had a better story and characters, even though a lot of people have chat a little bit on, you know, Jack's death and people are like, well, Jack and Rose, like they could have both been on that debris. (laughs) Like, he didn't have to sacrifice himself. Rose could have been less selfish. <laughs> but that whole thing uh, just left him to drown. But, yeah. Yeah, Avatar being, like, all spectacle, and that's pretty much it. Like, and plus, like, it was already, like, widely available since. So, the fact that it made, like, over $10 million for a re-release, pretty impressive, I'd say. So, you know... Since the Avatar re-release went down so well, I mean, obviously, you know, ideally the Titanic re-release should go down 
the same, right? So yeah, I say the Avatar, the recent Avatar re-release. I, I think the success of that is that might be a good omen for this. So I'm gonna label that as a pro. And I think that's really it with pros. Okay, cons. Uh, these re-releases don't exactly have longevity on their side. They don't usually last very long. I don't know how long this is supposed to last. I can't imagine it's more than a month. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I feel like it's gonna. it might make most of its money week one. And then it just... Like, after Valentine's Day, it's just gonna fall off. That's what I think. <laughs> so, I might be wrong. But that's what I think. So... That might be a con. Another con, I don't, I've, I've been reading the news about Leonardo DiCaprio. Like he's, like people have been making jokes a long time. Not just because of him not winning an Oscar, but because of who he dates. Like his girlfriend's being like so much younger than him. But recently like the joking has kind of stopped. It, it's, it's become less of a joke and more of a concern. Um... Because I believe he's like dating like a what a nineteen year old, and he's like forty eight. So, yeet! Oh no, <laughs> that's a that's that's a. I mean, it's not illegal, but it's weird. It's weird. It's a little icky, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, but I don't know how much that's gonna affect the movie. Like I, I have no idea. But I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just gonna mention that uh, as a potential con, like P real life PR affecting the movie, but I don't know if it's gonna even have an impact at all. Sometimes bad PR can affect the movie. Sometimes it just do it does nothing. It just completely just deflects, <laughs> deflects the PR. But who knows? And I guess another con is that this movie's already been re released like once before, like a big old re release of like 2012. And people were like, okay, that was like for the 15th re-release, 15th anniversary. So you're like, okay, that's fine. But to do it again, like some people are like, okay, now this is a real cash grab. If it wasn't a cash grab before, it is now. So yeah, I don't know if how many people are going to be wanting to watch the movie again. Again, it's been widely available for decades at this point, man. So anyone who... Like, I'm pretty sure everyone on planet Earth has seen this movie at least once at this point. At least once. So I don't know how many times you really want to watch the movie. Anyone want to watch the movie. So, I don't know. I feel the this re-release has the, the, the stench of a cash grab. And that could be off-putting for some people. So I'm going to label that as a con. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So opening weekend, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I I lowballed with Avatar, and that blew up in my face. <laughs> um. Uh. Going back to Avatar. Okay, let's just go back to that. Um. Because that's really the only comparison I got. Because it was like the most mo easily the most useful most modern comparison i have was the avatar re-release but that was just promoting us that was promoting a sequel a sequel that ended up making like a stupid amount of money too this doesn't have that advantage so but yeah oh made over 10 million 10.5 million will this hit that i ooh, that's a that's difficult to say i didn't even mention the super bowl damn super bowl weekend is gonna suck it always sucks because you, you basically get you to cut one day out of the whole weekend. So it's a two-day weekend. And yeah, that's not good for any movie. So that's a con against it. But I'm going to kind of lowball it here too. You know, I'm going to have a wide range. Five to ten million. That's what I'm going with opening weekend. And then it's total 20, 30 million. I don't know. I don't know. This is so hard. This is probably one of the hardest weekends I've ever done when it comes to actually predicting movies. It sucks. But, yeah, that's what I'm going with. And that's what I'm sticking with. So, 
that's it. We're done. We're done for the weekend. Now, next week is going to be real interesting. There's this Marlo movie that I guess I'm going to cover. I, I expect nothing from that. But next week, next Friday, we finally have a big movie coming out. The first since Avatar 2. And that movie is Ant-Man 3. Or Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So that's going to be real interesting to talk about. <laughs> Especially considering, like, you know, everything that's been going on with Disney recently. None of it being very good. So that should be fun. So can't wait to talk about all of that when I was talk about Ant-Man, Ant-Man 3. So stay tuned for that prediction video but yeah that's it that's all uh make sure to subscribe like this video leave a comment turn notifications share the whole drill want to check out more videos like this got playlists on the home page for all previous prediction videos i made this year if you want to watch any of those or any other predi- predictions i made the past few years you can go right ahead there's also the canceled series where i go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't i covered this re-release once once it was like last summer I talked about it. Titanic. Titan. <laughs> uh, Titanic. Okay. It was episode 133. I talked about it alongside the Fablemans. Alright. That's when I talked about it. And so if you want to watch that episode or any other episodes I've done, there's 175. So you have more than enough to choose from. So if you want to binge them all from beginning to now, go do it. <laughs> I highly encourage you to do it, so do it. There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. Um, January recap will come out next week. I guarantee it. It There's no reason for me to delay it anymore, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past recap videos I made on the channel, you, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.